hi guys welcome to another video today i have a list a mile long of stuff that needs to be done well i shouldn't say today every day since we've moved <laughs> i've had a list that long of stuff that needs to be done but i thought today i'd just take you guys around with me get some stuff done i'll show you my list of things that i want to get done but a lot of the time i write a list and i end up doing other stuff so we'll see what actually happens today so I wrote this list out the other day, so some of the stuff I already did, like I made Chase a dentist appointment already, and we already went, we already went, so, um, what else? Meatloaf, I'm making that for dinner tonight. There's a box in the hallway that I really need to get to the garage. I had to make room in the garage, but I think I can move that today, so I'm gonna try to get that out of the hallway. Um, and then the hutch that I bought, I spent last night cleaning that, so it's pretty clean, enough to where I can put stuff on it, so, I'm gonna scratch that off. I also need to redo the calendar for March. And I wanna hang up our key thing because we don't have our key thing hung up yet and we've just been like throwing our keys into this thing, which is getting annoying. Also I need to change Chase's sheets, but he's in his bed right now, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I don't know, that's just a list in case for some reason I can't think of something to do, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. But I'm gonna go ahead, start some laundry, See what else I can get done in an hour and a half. So one thing I've been meaning to do is hang up our fourth curtain. You can see I have a blue one, a white one, and then a blue one. Oh, I'm trying to have the white, the two white ones in the middle and the blue ones on the side. And I hung up the first white one the other day. I don't like how the seam is like facing out. So I want to see if I can like turn the curtains around so that this goes in, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try to do that. to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this okay so it's better than before but this curtain is kind of bugging me because it's not folding right <laughs> it's like I don't know it won't like stay together or something it keeps like spreading out i don't know i feel like i need wider curtains or something but i don't want to replace all the curtains so maybe i'll just try to find like wider pat because i do want to get like different pattern curtains just because i'm tired of them i kind of want something new so i feel like if i get wider pattern curtains then it will help like fill it out more because i feel like it's still not full enough or something i don't know but at least i have all four curtains hung up now so Yay. <laughs> the next thing I really want to do is move this paper sorter thing over to my hutch and then I just want to get this section of counter cleared off. I think I'm gonna stick my coffee maker over there. Yeah, my coffee maker is here and then the air fryer is here and I want to move the air fryer too because when I'm cooking at the stove I feel like the air fryer is like right in my way. It's like right in this little section of counter right here where I would like put something so i need to like figure out this area a little bit but first i need to clear off this area so that i can move something over here doesn't even like look good on there anymore which is kind of a bummer but that's all right I'm kind of like over that thing I've had that for a long time maybe I'll I don't I don't even know what I'm gonna do I need to figure out something else to do with my papers some other kind of organization system that will work with that cabinet and then maybe this thing it can go on my desk downstairs or something when I get that set up or 
I don't know. I gotta figure it out. But all I'm focusing on right now is getting that corner of the countertop cleared off. So selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough, but you're all I need. So I just noticed that there's like a gap between this and the wall. So either the wall is not straight or this is not straight. Like I can stick my finger back there and then you move over and it gets closer together like what the frig this is one of those things with like old houses that makes you just like scratch your head i take you places that you've never been i would give you the world if you let me try again yeah just give me one more chance i swear i'll try my best to always be there and i so much better and now i don't know i feel like it looks cute to have your coffee maker in the corner in its own little area i don't know i like it the next thing i want to do is move this shelf up just one more i'm gonna move it up to that hole because i don't have enough room here to fit all my kitchen towels and also i finally found a spot for this if you guys remember this was always like behind the sink at the old house i kind of had it like behind the faucet like pushed off to the side and it's just where like i keep my rubber gloves because i use those all the time when i'm doing dishes and have my hands in the water and stuff so I wanted the gloves to be able to like, to be able to get to them easily and have somewhere to put them. So I got this basket at Walmart. I've had it for, I think I had it like pretty much the whole time we were in the house, but I didn't want it to be on the counter anymore. So I stuck it in the cabinet with a towel underneath just in case there's any drips or anything, doesn't wreck the counter or the cabinet, but it's just a little bit too close. Like sometimes I'll hit my hand on the top of it. You guys know me, I'm so particular about things. So for that reason, and I don't have enough room for my towels, I'm gonna move the shelf up. go now they all fit so it's been a few hours i took a break from doing stuff for a little while went to get madison from school um gave both boys a bath made dinner i just made a meatloaf it's pretty easy but i feel like it's definitely healthier than what we have been eating because i have not been doing much cooking since we moved i haven't even done a an actual grocery order yet like i was doing we've, been, we've just been like running to the grocery store to grab some things. Greg's been picking up some stuff, so I really need to get back into the swing of things and do a grocery order, but I just haven't set the time aside to do that yet. Anyway, um, I made a meatloaf. It was just chopped meat. Um, I just mixed everything together in a big bowl. Uh, chopped meat, breadcrumbs, ketchup, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. I don't measure anything and egg. Um, I just mixed it all together, put it in a like loaf pan, and then I add cheese to it because Greg likes it with cheese. I could totally do without the cheese and save some calories. Um, but yeah, I added some shredded cheese 
and I just cook it for an hour at 150 and add some vegetables and potatoes and had a nice dinner. So Madison's not a fan of it. Chase didn't eat it at all. I didn't even attempt that with him, but I like it and Greg likes it. So, and Noah will like it too. He didn't have it tonight because he was hungry too early, but I'll have some leftover that he can have tomorrow. But anyway, now that that is done, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and try to change Chase's sheets really quick because I've really been meaning to do that and he's not in his bed right now. So I'm gonna go upstairs and do that. I didn't get everything done yesterday that I wanted to get done so it is now the next day I'm gonna try to do one other thing maybe more depending how much time I have Noah's taking a nap I got, I got Chase over here painting which I thought was gonna be an activity where he could just paint and I could do something but he keeps needing me to do things every two seconds <laughs> what you need more blue okay um, so I'm gonna help him and then I'm gonna do something and I'll show you what I need to do. So this is, I guess you're supposed to put trash in here but we're using it for recycling because we use a lot of water bottles and milk jugs and stuff like that. So look how dirty that is. It's so disgusting. I need to bring these outside and like hose them down or something like that but I don't know if I can do that right now. My main goal is to clean this cabinet a little bit because it's so disgusting. Like I don't, I really don't understand. How do you let it get this bad? Like just how? Everywhere it's just like if I take this out and show you. Oh, look at that. What the actual frame? But. Noah keeps coming over here and pulling this out, so I need to lock this cabinet. I was gonna try to use like the magnetic locks that we had before, but for some reason this cabinet like doesn't close all the way, and I tried to figure out like why, but I can't figure it out. So I think I'm gonna use one of my other cabinet locks. All right, hold on, Chase. I have a lock that I think I'm gonna try to put from like here to here or something. I think that should work. I don't know. I gotta figure something out. So cabinet lock is on, that should be good. Um, I had to stick it like on the side, like in between the stove and the cabinet because I don't know, I was gonna try to attach it to here but he would have still been able to pull it out too far and like reach his hand in. So I had to do that. So if I ever need to take it off, I'm gonna have to like pull the stove out. <laughs> but I had to do something. So I'm glad that that is done. Now I just need to clean the whole cabinet. So I decided that I cannot just have those disgusting things in my house anymore. <laughs> so I have to clean them. I can't leave that anymore. So I figure I'm gonna, I need to clean the tub anyway. So I'm just gonna let them soak in the tub for a while till whenever I have a chance to come back in here and finish cleaning them. Um, I have the window cracked in here. Maybe I should open it a little bit more. Um, I don't know, maybe I won't let them sit that long because there's bleach and that's our bathroom. But I'll let them soak for a little bit and then I'll rinse them out and then 
come back whenever I have a chance with some soft scrub probably, just give them a good scrub. That way they'll be nice and clean finally. And I do still need to clean the inside of that before I put them back in. But Noah is awake, so for right now, my work stops because really the only time I can get anything done is when everyone's sleeping, so yeah. A few days later now, don't I just look lovely? <laughs> I wish my hair would stop doing this. Like, why? Why does it have to do this? I don't even know. Um, before I was outside taking stuff out of the car, like I'm doing some just stuff out of the car because I went and did grocery shopping for the. Oh, well, I didn't do grocery shopping. I picked up my groceries. I did a grocery order for the first time, um, so I had to like empty some stuff out of the car so like. Put the groceries in there but anyway i was outside doing that and some lady comes over to talk to me about signing something i don't even know um but then i came back inside and realized that i looked like this <laughs> while she was talking to me she probably thought i was i don't even know what she thought she probably thought nothing honestly but anyway this is what i looked like when somebody was talking to me outside so that's cool what was i gonna say oh yeah i wanted to show you guys the after of the garbage cans or recycling cans because those looked terrible before so i want to show you what they look like now after i cleaned them they look so much better nice and clean they probably could have came out better if i like let soft scrub sit in there i like scrubbed them down with the soft scrub but i didn't let the soft scrub sit i let bleach and water sit so i don't know soft scrub might have done a better job but they are a lot cleaner and i'm actually going to I had just like bottles sitting in there again, but I think I'm gonna keep plastic bags around the cans so that it doesn't get messy like that again from like drips and crumbs and all that kind of stuff. So it'll stay nice and clean. So let's finish off the video by crossing off some stuff. So I'm writing, I wrote down the things that I did so I can cross, cross them off. So I did that, I put the cabinet lock on, um, I changed Chase's sheets, I made dinner. I did eventually move that box to the garage, even though you guys didn't see me do that. I did not hang the key thing yet. I keep delaying that because I know I'm gonna paint in the living room and I don't wanna like waste command hooks, but I should probably just hang it up because they're just command hooks um, anyway. And then Madison did the calendar, so that is done. It's all done for March, except this calendar doesn't really fit on our fridge anymore. So I think I need to get one that fits maybe a little bit better because it's kind of like blocked by the handle, but anyway, that is done. I feel good. I got some stuff done. Got to cross some stuff off my list. Um, and yeah, actually tonight I'm excited because we're going to buy a new to us kitchen table. Um, so hopefully that goes well. I'll probably post a picture on Instagram or something when we get it. But anyway, that is it. I will see you guys all for my next video. Bye.